Viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Met Commander. I am the one Turin Aaron, and when we last left off, we finished a difficult end of operation mission six. But as I said I was going to, I went back and replayed it, and oh yes! I have another Mad Cat now. Complete, you'll notice, with weapons. All I had there was actually a little bit of a headshot issue. Boom. Just like that. Now you'll also notice that all of my mechs are missing pilots. I'll get to that in just a second, but first, our operational briefing. Take it away, Commander person. Incoming transmission. You've made progress. But with the clan orbital gun still in place, our main invasion force will be taken apart before it can even land. You must silence those guns. Partisans have been able to locate several emplacements, but the clan also use mobile guns, which are constantly moved to avoid detection. The mobile guns must be found. Until they are taken out, we cannot attempt our assault on the starport. Now, the bad news. You made quite an impression. The Jaguar have mobilized fresh companies of heavy and assault class mechs in your honor and more elite pilots. So the party is over. I'm downloading your objectives and battalion is standing by. Out. You so negative. Why do I have no pilots? Well, that's simple. I have a 15 ton drop weight. But Renarin, you say? There's no mech that light. Well, that's correct. Our mission here is strictly Black Ops. We are going in with an APC, that's right, in our personnel carrier, to pick up an enemy Masakari. Probably the best mech in the game, arguably. And then we're going to use that, as it says here, to complete Objective 2, the low throwable guns. Decent number of artillery supports. As you can see, quite a briefing, so feel free to pause it and get those couple paragraphs there. And then I'll bring down here, you can finish it up. No tactical briefing, so there you go. And with that done, I bought a refit vehicle. Let's buy us a Pegasus Light Scout tank. There's 3,100 resource points I will never get back. Oop. And put the Pegasus in there. Well, you've read the briefing. We've got our mission. Let's get it done. Commencing deployment. Mech warriors prepare for combat. So the key thing about this one, viewers, is you have to stay on the move because although you don't have to fight any mechs and you could conceivably win your fights, too much risk of being nailed by any of the aerospace spawners. That in mind, because the enemy is constantly moving around, it's always a good idea to have these scout out. Oh, there you go. Harasser. And just as a quick reminder. We have a new contact. Four SRM packs? Definitely gonna beat my three SRM packs. So what I'm gonna do is head back down here. Follow the coast. And the one thing your vehicles do have is speed. Of course, so are the enemies. Now, a lot of people would drop an airstrike on that. I'm gonna save mine. Now there is a town up here, which I'm going to avoid because it's full of elementals. And there's my first aerospace spotter. Oh, there's a scout car. And this is why you just keep moving, viewers. They keep moving. They can't catch him. Unfortunately, as you can see, you do kind of have to go around that, because that's a mine layer. So get off the road as soon as possible. Hug the tree line. Now the city is full of elementals, so you want to avoid those at all costs and burn through that. Understood. We have a new contact. Unfortunately, that's just another scout car, not a mech. As you can 
and see if you're fast enough, you can actually cause them to lose pursuit. Because they're so inaccurate, you could kill them. I generally prefer not to. I should just about do it. Alright, let's keep going. Now, this is a very quick mission, as you can tell. You either succeed or you don't. And you don't have to worry about keeping your vehicles alive because you don't get to recoup them at the end of the mission. Whatever drops, stays dropped. In fact, what your Pegasus light scout tank is going to serve to you now, or technically you could bring a Swiftwind scout car as well, is to serve as a distraction. Because the Mascari has guards. And there's my target. Target's guards. Let's get the APC in there. ASAP. Mission objective. Alrighty. Now we are in business here. Taking enemy fire. Understood. Enemy crawler destroyed. And there's Firestorm. Well, they said he's one of the best. They were not kidding. Now you'll notice this is a jump variant. That should be a clue. First things first though, we gotta climb the mountain and see what else is between us and objective number two. And this is where you can use some of these to good effect. Especially if you're quick. Now, there is no salvage available in here. The old salvage is actually... Well, that's why you have a jump back. Yes, I call me Firestorm. Firestorm here. The enemy is engaged. As you just heard, you're going to find out why they call it Firestorm. This is Firestorm. Enemy crawler destroyed. And yes, yes we are. Order acknowledged. Jump jets. Oh, a little bit of a freak out there. Copy that. Destroyed. Hear that sound? Copy that, sir. I'm making enemy fire. Fire. I have an incentive. Fire. Fire. Throw that left shot. Oh, he took Order a cockpit shot. Copy that, sir. Fire. Fire. That cockpit shot is actually very annoying because he is one of the best pilots you're gonna get. This is Firestorm. My senders have a new contact. The enemy is Copy that. Now here's where you can get clever. Order acknowledged. They don't have jump jets. So, if you engage from this position, you can drop the artillery strike on them. Boom. Obviously, no salvage to be had from those guys. Or that one. But that's how it goes. Now, as always, since we do have a mech repair bay for our convenience, we're going to rush back up there and repair our brand new Masakari J. And as I got a couple minutes, I can show you what it's packing. Two clan heavy flamers, two clan large pulse two more ERP PCs, and two clan LRM racks. This is pretty much a given to go in my assault team. Even though it's a J variant, so it doesn't have extra armor or extra weapons, 
it's still a really good mech and packs one of the largest weapon to tonnage ratios you're going to find. Another important thing to note, check in Firestorm stats. The reason they're weighted like this is because gunnery is the easiest one to raise. He will pretty much always be one of your best pilots that, by the end of the game. He will usually Fire. get Fire. most of these building pretty close to max, especially if you use this for the mission to jump around a bit. And again, he's not at full combat effectiveness because he got a little bit rattled by some gunfire. And more twitchiness. Actually having jump jets on a Masakari, or an Atlas for that matter, is kind of insane because of how much tonnage you need to take up to lift a mech that size. Again, it's one of the times where the game doesn't quite fall in line with the board game, but I'll forgive it that, because this game is awesome. And honestly, I've salvaged two Mad Cats so far this run. There's nothing quite like flipping that salvage window and seeing a Mad Cat with all its weaponry intact for you to take home. The downside is it takes a while for him to get from point A to point B. There's that thud again, the orbital gun is firing away. Come on. Who's that big firestorm? Yes, you are. Come on. There we go. Orbital gun one. Cannon turrets. The enemy is engaging. That, and there's a special technique. You notice I captured that turret before I actually landed? Enemy components captured. Enemy components captured. There's no other way up here except for that jump capable mech to get up to make it, so I don't know what you'd actually put up here. But that is a secret. If you jump with a mech, before it lands, you can capture whatever's within its range. So if you run a jump cable, for example, light mech up to a base after distracting the turrets with a heavy mech, you can co-opt it pretty fast. One clan ERPBC, four clan LRM racks. Priceless salvage. Priceless. Especially that ERPBC. You cannot afford to leave that behind. Quick, APC! Pegasus Scout Tank, get in there! Understood. This route is blocked, sir. I don't think you're going to get there in time to help PC. Or APC, rather. But as you can see, this is a really quick mission. It's a nice little break from what you've done before. You don't really do anything else like it. And hey, you can steal a Massacre J variant, so. Free salvage. Mission objective complete. Mission successful. Naturally, there's no bonus because I was banging on for my drop weight. Do not forget these viewers. If you play this mission and you forget them, redo it. And of course, Firestorm ranks up a little bit in everything. Ten kills to his name and injured. All right, viewers. We've got a new pilot. We've got a new mech. And now, of course, that I've got him, he needs to sit out around. So when we next come back, more Mech Commander. Thanks for watching.